Mm. Yeah, probably would have. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> our next idea comes from Anton Zimmerman, who has travelled from Salby in Leicestershire. <laughs> Dear genius, for centuries obesity was not a problem because we had to hunt and gather our food. Obviously, people are not going to want to go back to our hunter-gatherer past. So, my genius idea is that all groceries should be delivered to our homes, but the delivery vans would not be allowed to stop. Instead, <laughs> people would have to run alongside the van to retrieve their shopping. I don't like your idea, Anton. It smacks of uh, the ideas of one Adolf Hitler. <laughs> If you're familiar with his theories... No, pe people Isn't have said that, that to me, but the, the evolution of the idea is that it, it, to, to respond to the gathering part of the equation, that vans delivering healthy things like fruits and vegetables would park randomly around your neighbourhood so you can walk at whatever pace you like. It's not as simple as that. It's like when David Cameron said fat people should take responsibility for it, it's their fault for eating the wrong things. And then all the Liberals came out and pointed out that the poor tend to eat worse diets because um, fatty food is cheaper and unhealthy food is cheaper... And it is them that you're targeting, and you are a crypto-fascist. <laughs> I'm not stopping anyone from eating fatty foods. I'm just making them work for them. What? <laughs> well, clearly, you know, what's going to happen is rich, fat people are going to pay poor, thin people <laughs> to hunt for them. Eamon Holmes isn't going to take your idea lying down, is he? Obviously. <laughs> You've made the... I think that there's so many opportunities for abuse of this system. Yeah. As with all systems, this is true. But I, I like to think that people would buy into the spirit of the idea, in that we're not telling people not to eat unhealthy foods, we're just, we're just saying you're going to have to go that extra mile for them. I think you just think it would be funny to see fat people running. <laughs> in fairness to Anton, it, it would be funny to see fat people running. I mean, that, you've got to yeah. give him that. Yeah. Traffic lights might might pose a problem to you here, wouldn't they? I mean, when the fatty food van stops at the red light, the whole community is going to ransack it. But, I mean, also, this is what I would say to Hitler if he was here proposing your idea, which I think <laughs> could easily happen. I'd ask him some of the same questions I'm asking you. And it would be, why draw the line here? Why, is it, why are you saying, oh, you know, we'll control... We'll mould society through withholding their food. Why not do the same with educational materials. Why not penalise the poor, which is what you're doing now, in the same way by having, like, things drive around really slowly with copies of Heat magazine on them. But if you wanted to buy a Penguin Classic, you had to be able to catch up with a jet. You know, it's the kind of thing you're... you make, it's very suspicious. You're but again, in, in fairness to Anton, there are mobile libraries already. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, they do <laughs> tend to have... Uh, worse reading material than static libraries, in my experience. They are aimed at poorer people. <laughs> yeah, but also around the countryside, there are mobile shops, right? So, <laughs> out in Cornwall, a bre you know, a van comes with bread and baked beans on it and stuff. So, he's basically taking an idea that already exists and bringing fascism into it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, I'd like to think I'd be a benign dictator, yeah. if it's any consolation. <laughs> That's all right, then, Anton. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Anton's even the kind of name a fascist would have, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's nothing remotely fascistic about Anton Zimmerman. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what you're suggesting, Stuart. I really don't. But I'm going to try and bring you around to this idea. Right, Come with okay. me to, to the demonstration area, cos I've got something that I think might work instead of the vans. Um, well, really, I would have these in every place that sells food. Um, a, a running machine. A running machine. And I think, if this is a supermarket, the customer gets on the running machine and as you beep their items through, if it's burgers, it gets faster. Lettuce, <laughs> it slows down. Now, uh, instead of a supermarket here, uh, this is the, uh, the Genius Burger uh, Emporium. OK? So uh, I'll just apron up. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's up to you what you want to order. I'm recommending, based on the props I've got under here, a burger. Um, <laughs> But it is entirely your choice. So I just uh, start like this, yeah? Yeah. So, hello, sir. Uh, are you looking for a quarter pounder? I'll have a quarter pounder. Okay, yeah, then I'm... you do have to get a bit faster than that for the quarter pounder. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like cheese on that, sir? Um, you don't have to, but if. <laughs> You're under no pressure. Well, I'll just have the one piece. Just the one piece? Okay, a little bit faster then, please. Uh, salad? Can it be taken down if I have the salad? Yes, it will. Yeah. Yes. I'll have both the bits of salad. Yeah, both bits of salad. <laughs> then go down a bit. Now you've gone down a bit. Do you yeah. feel tempted by that second piece of cheese? Yeah, definitely. OK, <laughs> up again. Bearing in mind you've made that choice, do you want fries with this? <laughs> 
Yeah, go on then. OK, the fries are yours. And would you like a drink, sir? What have you got? Uh, we've got Coke, Diet Coke. Uh, I just, yeah. Okay. Or have you got Diet Pepsi? Yeah, Diet Pepsi. OK. It, to be honest, it's a, it's a genius own brand cola. Oh, right, OK. OK. <laughs> I was sort of doing this, Anton, because I thought it might persuade him to the idea, but I think it's actually just going to kill a genius. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want that. No. In fact, I'm now getting a message in my ear from the producer. How fast are you going, Stuart? 7.5. OK, we're not insured for that. you better stop. OK. <laughs> no, genuine, we are, apparently, we are breaking some health and safety regulations by you doing that. Yeah, so. and by feeding me that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. But, I don't know, that was my attempt at, at bringing you round, and I think I might have made it worse, Anton. <laughs> I was trying to bring him round, Anton, I really was. Um, Shall we find out whether I succeeded? Y yes, let. Stuart, this is the important part. Anton, with his grocery van hunting idea, a genius or not? I just want to know where will it end, and I don't trust him. No, not genius. <laughs>